It started almost four years ago, the basis for a new show on a Twitch stream. It features Graham Farmer and Mars, and this is simply because it was their dream. All they needed was a garden shed, water dripping down upon their head. And all because of them We shed heads Monday on the weekend is gone I've got the demo stream on And we're looking What will people think of my song The yellow's taking so long But feet were looking Comes in with a heavy beam A thousand album tracks by Cosery And then some disco funk It's Bergwall Along the way we've had so much fun We'll be on Radio 1 Are you joking? Hot sauce challenging and a pace Look at Lars's poor face It was smoking Drumstick smacking Graham in the chops Swami whistles and big pamper props And now a children's book Flappy kick Hello. Oh shit. There we go. Hello. Uh, what's this music? This music is. Uh, why does it say sign into chat? Oh god. Oh, everything's going wrong already, Loz. Uh, Sprinter, how you doing? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> you... <laughs> it's all gone tits up. <laughs> Has it all gone tits up already? Woofing, how you doing? Can you? Right, we're good. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna just work out what the fuck is going on with the old chat maruna. I've got to verify it's me. Hi, I'm me. Yes, I'm me. Hey hey, B's in the house. Um Bring the beat max back. Oh. How no. the hell does he get what? Oh, I don't know. I don't know how I did that. That's really good. Can you just <laughs> pop out the chat from there? I don't know. I'm going to just do it from here. We're literally like we are literally running on the skin of our teeth today, aren't we? Because can't tell. Um, because I was recording YouTube videos <laughs> till literally till half past twelve, and then we've munched our dinner in rapid rapid time. Anyone knows that I'm a fast eater anyway, so we're all good. Uh, Okazawa music. How you doing, Jojo? How you Jorben? How you doing, Joe? How you doing, Rob? How you doing? Spread out. Yeah, so the lead track when you when you're coming in, that track when you're coming in is done by it was by um C B radio. There you go. Um and essentially it's our theme tune now, which I absolutely love. And it's also in if you go into the Discord in the Discord, um it's in there, you can listen to the full version. You can listen to the whole thing, can't you? You can, there's a hard another two minutes of it. There's a second there's a second half to it, which which I which I absolutely love as well. Um Yeah, very exciting. I don't even think I've listened to the whole thing, actually. What? The, the, the bit at the end where we're kind of me and you stumble. There's a bit where me and you stumble. Oh, quality. Um, it's really good. Um, yeah, I'm just doing some posts on Facebook to get, get a bit more, like, traction. Oh, there you go. That's how you do it. Look. There we go. How are you? You all right? I'm good. I'm good Stress you? over? Um, I'm just running around looking for headphones and cables and bits to plug into headphones. Oh yeah, oh yeah, you need to. How's the lights though? We've improved the light, I think. I think we look a lot better. You look a lot, lot, lot a little bit lighter. A bit more in focus. But uh, definitely a bit more in focus. You just need another little light behind there now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Add a little bit of. We added, so we changed some of the camera settings, so it looks it should look a little bit better. Loudest, how you doing? You about to make some coffee? Cool. Um, I'm moving more into Prog Housewife. Wicked. Uh, now, you know, say doing dude. No, it's the Terminator. That's his. That's his pool name. Let the Terminator. My mic on. Oh no, it isn't. No, I can tell. I can see. There you go. You had me muted. 
Did I have you muted? It's because I was recording. I can hear lots of. What can I hear lots of? Should I turn this down? Uh-huh. Turn that off. There we go. That's better. There we go. We should not be doubled now either. I don't know. I can actually hear you now as well. Oh, I can't hear anything. Why can't? Yo. Why hello, can't... hello, hello. Why can't you? Oh, hear? I can't hear. Why can't you hear? Have you plugged it in properly? Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I could hear the, the intro music, so. Do you want this off like that? I don't know. Does that work? No. Okay, brilliant. Does it work like this? Uh, the only thing that really matters is if, if the move it, m- music plays, so I can hear you from here anyway. Just from being sat next to me? Yes. Right, good. Okay, that's fine, because it's not like it's a miles away. <laughs> this is all going rocking for for a change. You, you, like, I would, never can tell we've been doing this nearly three years. Start judging the intros of these streams. <laughs> this, is, this is like a, this one, I'd probably give it a three. I'd probably... <laughs> and that's probably being generous. <laughs> <laughs> Should we listen to some demos? Uh, yeah. Next week, I'm definitely going to have a holiday next week, by the way. I've decided yeah, there'll yeah. be no demos next week because I'm going to I'm Air. I'm going to Ibiza like Monday afternoon. So if I stream one till three, I'd literally have to close the shed door and then get in the car and go to Ibiza because yeah. of where our flights at five and shit and, or six or something. We need an hour drive to there and pain in the ass, right? Um, we need a, fa- a stream fail compilation. We do. Well, I, well, I think we need to start working on that for the first of May for all of the kind of some funnies to go out <laughs> over the over those over those few days at the beginning of beginning of the uh, third fourth third year. The third fourth third year. Ba, 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 ba. Third year. <laughs> Excellent. Those that joined me in the Discord last night for the Discord chat, that was super fun. Last night we had a little Discord chat. Mm. You know, I did my weekly kick and bass one. It was a bit mm, dead. Mm. Um, so I did it in our Discord, and we had like, a little kind of hangout in the in the Discord shed. Nice. Um, it I was didn't even know. It was really it was just like uh, impromptu, really good fun, really good to just hang out and chat. So just keep an eye on those because I might I'll do them again because it was really fun. Little pop ups, little a little pop up, mm. like a little one like this. Woo. Um, um, right, let's let's get some. <laughs> should we should we get some demos on before we get some demos on? We need we need our uh, order video, we don't need we? The order. Loudest, yes. This is the law. Um, easy one hour long video. It it would be the 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 failed streams. Yeah, surround sound was just going for it. Was he? Yeah. Good. It was really cool. My speaker's ready for demo today. Good. Right. Let's get the order done, and then we can get on with this. If you're new here, we have an order, and this is it. For every demo stream, we have an order, and it works a bit like this. First up are my course members from the Artist Blueprint or Instagram Domination course, and their names are blue or red in the Discord, and you always go first as my course members. Next up, we have our Super Shed Heads and Shed Heads. Now, in our Discord, we have two levels of membership. Our Super Shed Heads are £8 a month, and our Shed Heads are £4 a month, and essentially, it bumps you up the queue, so you'll get your demos listened to in a higher priority, but also, it really supports the streams. It helps us buy new mics, new speakers, new cameras, lighting, backgrounds. We put everything that you guys invest with us to get yourself up the queue. We put it back into these streams to make these streams better and better and better so that you get a better experience overall. And we'd really do appreciate those that are subscribed to the channel and support the stream as well. So you can choose from either becoming a super shed head or a shed head. If you do command sub in the chat, it'll give you a link. But also at the top of every thread for the demo submissions, there is a link to the Buy Me A Coffee website or go to Buy Me A Coffee dot com forward slash Graham Farmer and you can subscribe there. You can cancel whenever you like and as I mentioned it's always really appreciated. Then finally we have our whites. If your name is white in the discord that means you are one of our YouTube subscribers. Thank you for subscribing to this channel on YouTube. We really do appreciate it. We have two videos every week. We have shorts every day. We have polls, community questions and our two demo feedback sessions every single week. Thank you for being a subscriber. It really does appreciate it. Again really helps this channel grow and again the more this channel grows the more we can do with it. The bigger the guests we can get for and our feedback and it really just helps you the more subscribers we get there we go that was us oh i might cut the end off sorry if i did also if you can just give it a little stream a little like that'd be lovely i feel like i'm double i can hear myself doubling up which is weird i'm just gonna turn it off there we go that's better um that'd be epic let's try and get to 17 people watching 17 likes that'd be wicked right rob hayes says that he's not got uh how do i skip this ad what ad is there an ad there shouldn't be ads Oh, for God's sake. Oh, yeah, look, monetization on. No, but ad- monetization can be on, but ads needs to be off. Ads automated is off. 
Maybe he was talking. Oh, he was talking about the the what's it add the order. No, I just need to play that. Sorry, I need to just because it just makes sense me saves me saying it. Record it in the shortest version possible. Oh hi, right. Rob says, why is he not a yellow? Why is he not a yellow? Why are you not a yellow? Where are you, Rob Hayes? You said you put a video demo in, but I can't see you. Where are you? There. Why are you not a yellow? Did you use the wrong, e the different email? I'll put him as yellow. So he's a shit. I saw him subscribe as well. Right. Um, good. Good. Very nice. Uh, right, demos. Let's get in this Discord. Do, 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 do. Discord short. There we go. Right, good. Um... Just as a heads up, by the way, I made a new subject, a new set comment thing earlier. It's called conferences, and I've made a whole thing for different conferences. And if you're going to a conference coming up, and I've put Berlin, I've put uh, Brighton, I've put Amsterdam, and IMS next week. If you're going to one, just comment and say hi, um, and let's start conversation around these conferences and networking, because networking is so important, and going to these conferences is going to be killer. So if you're going to one, or you need more information about one of the conferences, just put the message in, drop messages in those section, and I will definitely respond with as much knowledge as I know. Um, I've also done videos on most of them and I'll drop them into each one. Um, there's also a play in, playlist in, what con in which conference in the top one um, of videos of all of the different conferences um, and which ones might be right for you. Right, demos, Wednesday, here we go. Blue? Blue, I blue. <clears throat> I think Bring the Beat Max is going to be first. Is he? Oh, you know, Woofing, you know Woofing? Mm. That, that other guy was Rough, rough Mate. Remember Rough Mate? Yeah. With his dog. He could do a track with Woofing. Rough mate and woofing. Right. <laughs> they could be dogs on acid. <laughs> Do you remember that website? Yes. Vaguely. Oi, oi, MX MXL. Superstar MXL's here. I didn't even like the stream, did I? Didn't you? Right, bring the beat back. Let's do this. Um, how do I do this again? I press... Do. press play, press play, mute...
Duck. I think so. I'm oh, sorry, I was just checking there. It sounded like it was... Two different tunes, but two very good tunes. <laughs> I know. It's I, odd, yeah. I mean, straight straight off the bat, as soon as that, like, this sec- second section here, <laughs> like, I wasn't sure that the vocal worked in this area anyway, but the vocals all worked with this section here in the pianos. This felt, kind of felt like kind of like jungly, cool, like, you know, jungle, like, but kind of like modern twist on jungle with a little bit of kind of like liquid flavour in there. Sick. This bit doesn't make sense with this bit of the track. This bit of the track doesn't make sense with this bit of the track. I think you've got two completely different tunes. So I'd split that section out, make like a proper Aggie roller, like that's it, that is, and then just make this, concentrate on this one on being like a like more kind of commercially jungly kind of sounding thing. Like, because you could hear that on like an old like hospital records kind of mixtape, this section, but not with this bit as an intro. It was nice. The second part was not. I like the second part. Yeah. I like the first part as being Aggie as well, but yeah. I think I was well into that. I think both parts worked really well, but I just don't think they work well as one tune. Like, I, you know, you've got two tunes there for me, which mm. is sick. You've got two tunes. Yeah. Well done. <laughs> really cool tunes as well. Yeah, yeah. Like, I loved the, the, the first section. Like, I thought it was wicked, but mm. then it just rolled into a completely different vibe and tune, and it's just like, it's slightly confusing. Um, you can always rewind a little bit, Shelley. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, on YouTube you can just rewind. Yeah, but yeah, like I yeah, drums all sounding pretty cool. Um, bass lines all like I think this is sounding like the most polished, the most polished stuff. Bring the beat Mac has actually sent in so far. Really strong production. Yeah. Really, really, really strong production. Balanced. Everything sounded good. Drums sounded great. I just, I just, um, I just think you've got two tunes. Hmm. But yeah, solid. Really cool. Right, let's carry on. Uh, next, Blue. Where did Emmanuel, because I know Emmanuel put one in the other day. Did he re-put one in? Because if he hasn't, I feel like we just need to... I know I don't normally do this, but it's my stream, so... Um, and he is a Blue. Should we just go and listen to his Blue from the other day so it's in the stream? Because I know he's five, six hours behind. He put one in here, look, the last track. Oh, no, he's missed it. Oh, no, he's taken it out. No, here it is, it here. I'm just going to do it. Okay. Is that cool? I don't care. You don't care. <laughs> I don't care. I just just because he's a course member, and I feel yeah, like, yeah, yeah. And, and he's, and I know that he's in Atlanta, and he's five hours, six hours behind. So, yeah. um, I can then message him and say, "Go and listen." Okay, cool. Thank you. Sorry, everyone. Yes, you can. Um, my name is Mark Donson, and I'm five minutes late for a job interview. That's okay. You can fill out this job application. You can have a seat right over there. Oh, okay.
That was sick, wasn't it? Yeah, super cool. Really str- groover. Proper early early hours grooving next to the pool with the daiquiri. Yeah, or early morning grooving as well. Yeah. Uh, feel like I'm shopping at Urban Outfitters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, defo. Um, MXL is a strong no for the vocal. Um, in the chat, ones for yeses on the vocal and noes for twos for noes. I bet this is a bit of a marmite vocal. I'm full. I quite liked it. I thought like like you're standing around with a little, you know, start of the day drink, evening start of the evening drink, your little shoulder shaker. Yeah. Um, I thought it was. I thought it was. I quite liked it. But all at three twos. Ones for yeses, twos. Ones for like it, twos for don't like it. Sorry, make it easier. <laughs> I'd, yeah, I'd, I, it was okay. Like, I, I think there might be something better that you could use. Like, it's nice. It's, that's obviously just ripped from a film, isn't it? Also. I like the randomness like, of it. It just felt a little bit almost too random. Like, it just, like, why use that bit? You know what I mean? It just felt a little bit, a little bit strange. Oh look, it's a complete split. Look, one, two, three, four, 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 five, four. Oh no, it's f- oh no, it's going twos, twos, twos. So it's 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 a it's it's, it's a definitely marmite. Some yeah. like it, some don't. It's Neil's one. It's basically fifty fifty. It's but it is basically does, does three count? What is three? You can have three as long as you tell me what it is. <laughs> Reverse the vocal. <laughs> you can have a three, but what is it? Right, okay, so the otherwise, groove solid, drums yeah, great. Drums, uh, bass line was really tidy. I like the synths. Yeah, it just, yeah, it, it, I, you could easily see that getting played out. And, you know, early hours, like in, in the afternoon, like people are warming up. It's like, yeah, a lovely tune just to like kind of jam to as you're just having your first daiquiri. You and or, your daiquiri? Or, or Aperol Spritz. Oh, you're Aperol Spritz now. You're an Aperol Spritz guy. Yeah, yeah. Ha, you can tell he's an Aperol. You can tell he's an Aperol Spritz guy. Yeah. He's got a little cheeky wink. <laughs> So, yeah, yeah, okay. no, I, yeah, I really liked it. Like, I haven't got much to say apart from like, like the, the marmite vocal. I'm not, not too sure on that. Is yep. there something cooler you could use? Like, especially if you have got like um, something kind of like sung as well. Oh, we missed out. Like, added, added to it, to take it to another level potentially. But yeah, one of them, fifty-fifty. Cool. Right, Nels, Nellis, Nellis, Nellis. This is sick. Have you listened to this? Yeah. Okay, you've listened to this. Are you ready? It's an opener song. It is Jesse. That's right. Um, mixed opinion. Oh, mixed opinion on the vocal is number three. Okay. Sitting on the fence. Yeah. 50-50. Much like everyone else's. <laughs> Fuck's sake. <laughs> right, let's listen to this. Um, I like the lar work as well. It's quite nice. Okay, cool. Thank you. 
There we go. Um, love the so look, MXL. Love the crowd noise. Charlie Dot not a fan of crowd noise. I I love using crowd noise in the track. I, yeah, I, I quite like the way it was used in this one as well. Like on the drop, I thought it was cool. Yeah. Um, Nels, is that is that one of your uh, uh, crowd noises from one of your pool, tournaments? Pool tournaments. Is it one because he's he's basically a world champion pool tournament player? Uh, see that in NXL. Is it the crowd cheering from when you've won a tournament? <laughs> if it is, that's super cool, by the way. Yeah. Yeah, I really like this. Um, like, drums on point, bass line, super groovy, loved it. Mm. <clears throat> uh, the arrangement work flowed quite well. Um, I like this crowd, crowd noises. I liked them. The, I wasn't sure on that kind of like minimal techno bah, 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 sound, and especially like the way it rolled almost all the way through. Mm. It was starting to get a little bit like great in. Um, I also thinking like something like you got it sounded kind of like you had like kind of like hip hop y kind of like samples and stuff in there like in the vocals. So is there like could you instead of using like a weird techno kind of synthy sound, is there a way you could maybe get some more like actual like you know like hip hop scratches or you know just like hip hop noises like the bounce and all those kind of like things on the drops, you know like the kind of more hip hop horny stuff. I don't know <laughs> horn stuff. So, but yeah, it's like I. Yeah, the one thing on this one that I just... I, it wasn't quite gelling for me is that, that kind of, like, synth. Yeah. Especially where it was, like, riding all the way through. So maybe use it more as, a, like, a, a motif every now and again rather than just rolling the whole way through. Um, I really yeah, like the groove, though. Yeah, the groove was on the groove was on point. Um, yeah, it was yeah, it's just that one that one little thing for me. Otherwise, like, I'd probably play this one out, you know. Uh, mm. Like it's definitely my vibe for like early, early, early hour set for like the kind of music I play. Mm. Um, really cool. Yeah, it's yeah. I'd just maybe have a look at that one noise. It'd work on sixty three as well, wouldn't it? It so. would. But if but wait, I, depends if you're hip hop horny or not. <laughs> oh, is that Neil's in the chat? Neil's the Terminator. For, is that your is that your pool name? The Terminator. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Oh, that's sick. The Terminator. Amazing. Amazing. Groove was on fire, Rob Hay says. Yeah. Uh, Marco Corello vibe, Charlie Dot says. Definitely. Agreed. Yeah. Really cool. Really, really cool. Yeah, solid job otherwise, like. And that might just be a Marmite thing. Like I say, everyone else might like the, the kind of like the kind of like minimal techno sounding synth. Yes. Through. Right, any more blues? No. I mean, the thing to do would probably be like reference like Iglesias and R squared, mm. how they kind of go, because they use their simps, but kind of a little bit more sparingly. Mm -mm. And then obviously, like, you've already got the groove, which is the hook, like, for this kind of music, anyway, isn't it? Like, mm. um, but yeah. Oh, I like, he was on his phone, he couldn't switch. I love Fair. the, I love that his accounts. I love, I love that name. That's cool. Terminator. That's sick. That's a great name for a pool name as well. I know. Oh, man. He's so cool. Um, when's your when when you when's you, when you coming to Telford or have you already is that come and gone? Yeah, when's he coming to the UK? I thought he was meant to be playing a tournament in Telford. He is. Soon. Who's going to come? I'll go. If I'm free. Let's go and watch him play pool <laughs> and hang out with fan fan guy fans. Yeah, with fans. I've never been to one of those before either. So be yeah. I'm totally down. <laughs> right, next up, let's go. We've done blues. So let's do greens. Um, no, Joe, no, Ruffin, no, 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 Yeah, Holistic. Woohoo. I've been really into Holistic's music. Yeah, it's in two weeks' time. Oh, I don't think I'm here. When's two weeks' time? When's two weeks' time? About two weeks' time. <laughs> I think I'm out for it. You are here because we're playing that, that's that festival. That's that rave, that that secret part, rave part thing. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, won't be here, here. All right. Because we'll be there. <laughs> We need to get the actual date because I might be. I've definitely got Willow on the Saturday in two weeks' time, and I've definitely got that thing on the Sunday in Milton Keynes, Secret Rave in Milton Keynes, with the one and only Lost Secker playing, and GW Houston and Florentia. Um, right, I'm really enjoying Hey Six Music. It's yeah. been really cool. Super solid. Let's play this on the deep end. I hope this isn't got that vocal. That's you know the deep end vocal. <laughs>
Wow. Rave on. Rave on? Yep. Rave on. Rave on. Rave on. Really cool. Solid. Really solid, cool. Solid, solid, solid. Yeah. Balanced. It sounded sonically, it sounded really, really well put together. Like, Great vocal. It sounded good. Yeah, vocals good. It was giving me like early Neuron Pure vibes for sure. Who's saying that music um, now? Is it like the kind of Frankie was, those, or is it more, he's more, he's not deep enough? Because that was pretty deep, wasn't it? Yeah. I'd, yeah. You could hear it on like an Ultra Miami pool compilation or something easily, couldn't you? Those kind of like things. Mm. Um, yeah, like, yeah, it just sounded really full. Like, yes. It sounded spot on. Like, the only thing I was thinking, like, in, just in this little breakdown, it was similar to kind of like how it built it up here. So maybe you could, um, maybe like in my head, I'd like that, you know, like the deep end vocal. Maybe you could loop it and just kind of filter it in really slowly and then just kind of like build up for the crescendo. So when it drops back in, it's like, you know, just something like that, just to give it an extra little bit of tension in this section building up. Mm hmm. But, you know, you don't have to because it works the way you've got it. But it's just a little something that might work. But, yeah, like, the, like I haven't got much to say. Like, it sounded done to me, fairly. It did? Yeah. It sounded really cool. Yeah. Solid job. Well done, mate. Really, really cool. Um, love that one. Feels like summer. Yeah, it did. It definitely felt like summer. That's, I mean, that's daiquiri music all over. <laughs> yeah. Right, Graham Knox. Knox, this is the Jawbreaker 2. Oh, wicked. Jaw is this, a, is this a different jawbreaker or is it like the second attempt? This jawbreaker? is the jawbreaker too. Okay. It's, uh, it's, 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 uh, <laughs> the gobstopping. God's the gob, gobstopper fights back. <laughs> Return, <laughs> returning the gobstopper. <laughs> right. <sighs> without, without a piano. Um, with great gobstopper comes great responsibility. <laughs> with great gobstopper comes great <laughs> You fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> no. Run the track, man. Fucking run the track.
Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Um, that's sounding a l- like a lot better. Yeah, and sounding a lot better now the piano is not in there. It's kind of the track makes a lot more kind of sense stylistically without having the kind of soulful piano in the house in there now. I really enjoyed it. Yeah. Yeah. Like I really like it was it was fun. It was definitely like wonky as hell. Wonky. Um the music for there's a label called Music for Freaks, which you, if you haven't listened to that label, go and check that out. Because they love this kind of wonky acidy kind of just weird music that you just want to dance to, mm. and I definitely wanted to dance to that record. Ended of like, it was it was I liked it. Yeah, it was wonky as fuck, and I didn't mind that it was six minutes long because I know that those sort of records that I've got from Music for Freaks in my on my thingy wall over there, oh, oh I like that. Mm. Yeah, I was cool with it. Yeah, yeah, I, I really Music for bass. Freaks. I really like the bass line on this one. Um, some of the acid noises are wicked. I. Just be careful because there's a few sections where you've got like, f- like three different uh, synth ideas all going on at the same time, and then a little saxophone or something hit came in as well. And yeah, it's um yeah, just be careful that you haven't got too many too many of those kind of ideas happening at exactly the same time. Like mm. I know you've got like that squelchy wow 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 wow. I synth. love that sound. <laughs> Maybe just just retain wow, that for wow, the breakdowns. Wow, wow. Um, because having that playing at the same time as your kind of like lead hook synth as well it starts to just get a little bit confusing. And I think on the dance floor it would just be like, what's what's going on? Um, but yes, it's a marked improvement, mate. Well done. Proper jacking, like, like yeah, the drums were like sounded like Chicago-y jacking groove, didn't they? And um, that's and that's definitely all that. Yeah, I actually pulled a bit already, but yeah, cool. Yes, music for freaks. Yes, so good. It's a uh, Justin. What's his name? Justin. Somebody, I don't know, Google it. Um, yeah, really loved it. Get in there. Get in there, definitely. Like, yeah. so on the right vibe now. Yeah. Yeah, there was bits when you were filtering everything down as well. It started to kind of like sound like it was getting a little bit dis- distorted or just dis- like something something weird was going in. So I'll just mm. um, go and investigate that as well because it, it sounded a little bit like something was distorting. What's next? I don't know, but Nico looks like he's straining. <laughs> um, green. I see green. Jorben! Ooh. Look how cool, cool Jorben looks. Like, you want to go out for a pie and a pie and a pasty with him, don't you? Like, <laughs> look how cool he looks. Just sat on his sofa with his sunglasses on. He's obviously in recovery. <laughs> He's he's on the he's on the next day daiquiris. Or actually, that might be uh, sitting on one of the sofas at the airport. He could be, could be. He's on next day daiquiris. Yeah, those ones that rely on you or breakfast tequilas. He's had the breakfast tequila, you know, the little pink ones. And he's um, he's working his way through. Yeah.
<laughs> that was a heavy banger, wasn't it? Yeah. Look at that rave all night. I think so. <laughs> yeah, solid. Yeah, the yeah, kick drum was a... Uh... Should I give it a little one of these? Yeah. Okay, pass the kick test. I quite like the kick. Thank you. <laughs> I haven't done one of them in ages. No, no. Yeah, that I missed those. Um, I haven't got much to say on this. I think it's fairly solid. I mean, it's, it's just like belting techno, isn't it, with a really cool lead on top. Yeah. I, yeah, it all sounds balanced. Like I know the last few tunes you've sent have like sounded a little bit too washed out, and I don't think there's you haven't got that problem so much with this one. So well done, you reined it in. No, yeah, um, th that agreed. That was because that yeah. has been a problem, hasn't it? Yeah, it, it definitely sounded like a lot a lot cleaner in that sense. Um, but yeah, no, I think it's solid. Like I, you know, I don't think you'll have much trouble trying to get this one signed. I thought there was loads of tension in the build up. Um, yeah, the, the the synth pattern was great. Yeah, it's solid. Just solid, kind of like hard melodic techno. It it was thumping though, wasn't it? Mm. Like it's it's the sort of track that you think the Terminator would come out to. <laughs> yeah, I mean, label wise, I don't really listen to this kind of. Well, I don't really listen to techno that much, so I don't know where you'd send it. G with J, G might have some. Um. Um. Uh, do like like. Spectre's label, they're kind of sounding that music. Yeah, like, yeah. like always, like I'd aim at Codex because they're fucking. They've got so many great labels. IMT, Codex, Set About. They've got such a big lame reign of them. If you email them and pitch it for their labels, it's like that kind of Graham Sahara thing. Like they have so many labels in their little in their remit. Yeah. That they and they've got such good Spotify stuff. Like they've got this mad network of of YouTube uh, YouTube channels and Spotify channels that you just get you loads of reach and get you loads of streams that they've just built. Um, so as a you know, as a as a tier label, you want to get on there because it, they do sign smaller artists, they do sign newer artists, and if you can land on there, it definitely jumps you up. Um, yeah, or like if depending on, I check sixteen oh five because again he signs smaller artists, but again it has to be he's gone quite trancey. So Is Shade of Castro starting her own label as well. Is Shade of Castro, I did see that as well. She's a really good artist. Yeah, I'd maybe hit her up because um, she's really approachable. Hmm. Um. Yeah. Very good. Very nice. Good syncopation. Syncopation. Yeah. I read that right. Right. Next up. Look. Hammer the stir. What? His name's Ham of the stir. Right. I want to know what that means. Hamster. Ah. Uh, fuck's sake. Look, he's got a little hamster there, look. <laughs> he's the hammer the stuff. I've been rumbled. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of the greatest names I've ever heard. <laughs> I fucking love it. I can't wait to play Hammer the Stir's track. <laughs> hammer the, it's like the Cheese Herald. Yeah. Do you remember the Cheese? It's worth going back on Twitch just to have the Cheese Herald. I miss the Cheese Herald. So those that don't know, when we used to stream on Twitch before Christmas... Um, there used to be this guy that came in to, come into the chat called the Cheese Herald, and he would literally just have cheese facts, <laughs> and like you could ask him for three cheese facts, and they'd be just random cheese facts, and they were absolutely amazing. And we just start pissing ourselves because you could, he'd go to fact one, and then he'd just like fill the chat with all this fact. He'd come in, destroy the stream, and fuck off again. He really did. Like it was even when you uh, had a guest on as well, and then like he was just like, nah, let's go. Yeah, the, I can't he, remember which guest it was, but they were just like, sod it, let's, I was let's, just go, let's go. I was just reading the guest, and the guest was laughing their face off. Like, I miss that. Yeah. Oh, that's the things I miss about Twitch, is just the random people that come into your stream and come out again. And, yeah. Um, which is definitely interesting. Right, Woofin. We've not heard Woofin's music. Big Woofin. Big Woofin. He's also got a really old phone there. Look at that. That's not a Nokia, is it? It looks... It looks... Nokia 6710. Well, there he is with his phone knowledge. Let's do this.
Okay. Interesting start. Yeah, it's cool. Does that vocal, Woofing in the chat, does that vocal go into more? Like, to do anything else? Because you can feel like, I feel like it sort of goes, this is Cole Kane speaking. And, you, and then you go, and then you can have the next one go, oh, hello. And it's like, I see your two pints to the wind. Oh, yes, I am. I'm thinking about it. This is Cole Kane speaking. Oh, do you want a party? And it comes into this like whole like back and forth between your, what's going on in your brain, basically. Mm. Yeah, and the I mean, bag. It's like a conversation with the bag from inside the bag. Yeah, it's actually quite funny. Yeah, but if it did all that, but if it doesn't do all that, then I'm I'm kind of like I'm I'm not sure I liked the dialing, and I'm not sure I liked the vocal sample. And I, I kind of like at the beginning when they you had all these nice melodies and stuff, and I was just kind of humming along like a little female vocal or something, thinking more like Max Chapman kind of resonance vibes and all of that stuff with his kind of minimal. Mm. Like I'm thinking that might suit this a bit better. Possibly, like yeah, it 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 didn't it didn't grab me in. It just kind of felt like it cheapened the track a little bit when you've got like these nice polished melodies going off. Um, I I think yeah, I agree. Like, like I think if you if the vocal did have more and it was this kind of like comedy kind of like yeah, like Skelly said, you know, making it too novelty almost rather than it being like an actual cool track. Like yeah, because oh. even like the bits of the vocal that were in there, like they only got used on that bit of the track that was the novelty bit. You know yeah, what I mean? I like like a novel like I don't mind the novelty if if it goes fully in with it. Like if it's fully in yeah. and you're on the dance floor and it starts going and you're like, oh this is quite funny. Yeah. And you remember it because it's funny and then people will share it and it it's got that shareability factor. Yeah. But if it's just a little bit ear canning doesn't make doesn't kind of fulfill the whole story, then you're right. Ditch it, yeah. put a vocal I mean, especially, like, you only used This Is Cocaine twice or maybe three times because we didn't get to that bit at the, the end of the mm. break. But you could be doing things like looping the this is, this is, this is, this is, just like kind of like filtering and just using that as a bit of a little hook and then at the end of every 16 bars, I would go, this is cocaine or something, and then it just kind of drops into another little synth that takes over and stuff. Stuff like that just to kind of, like, you know, actually signify that the track is that. Yeah, you know, have the little burp, burp every now and again, rather than just have it in the breaks, because otherwise it just felt like you you chucked a sample on top of the breaks, and then the rest of the track is cool and minimal with a kind of cocaine reference every now and again in it. As I said, it needs to be that full story. It needs to start off like yeah. you're like you know, you, as everyone knows what happens, you get you get to about th one and three quarter points down, and you're like, let's get on it. And it needs to be that conversation between you and the first start of the first point to the to the second down to the second between you and your brain that goes that goes oh shall we and then they cut the next yeah. yes get it and then it's like it's like that full on like conversation between you and your brain because then that's actually quite funny and it's and it's realistic and it's you you would vibe with it because you because that's what happens yeah you have that ongoing battle within yourself um well, apparently not that yeah. I know. um. I do. I agree with Skelly thematically. The ringtone didn't make sense to the music, but yeah. it did. If it's if you're making the call, it does make sense. I I think in context of the actual like kind of like the way the the, the like the melodies are playing and all of that right, kind okay. of stuff. I don't think it it worked because you've got like a groove and melody led, led track, mm. and then you're just kind of chucking a sample in that's got like for me. I don't mm. think that actually worked as well as anything else. Mm. You know what I mean that you could use. Like a like if you had like a little kind of like female singer in there or something just just to tie it all over and kind of loop to making it a little bit cooler and groovy rather than just a sample on top of it for the sake of it it's kind yeah. of felt like for me what it sounded like but yeah I think the music was spot on I think the drums progression worked really well it's just for me that sample didn't quite gel gotcha uh, Bessie mop the extended um. Yeah, and this is it. Like you can imagine that on like what's that camel fat track from years ago talking about Charlie or hanging out with Charlie. Yeah, yeah. Like that that track's built around that sample, whereas this feels like the sample's been added to a track that's already built. Mm. You know what I mean? Like so, I would maybe use that in like a more party, like you know, you know, something that's built for that track. Like because you've got the idea, and then do what G says for the rest of it. Tell the story of picking the bag up and whatnot, but. I just don't think it worked on that track necess necessarily. Hmm. So he's got two tracks, basically. Yeah, like <laughs> you can save you can save that sample for another track and use it on something, you know, definitely like that hanging out with Charlie track because that's that the whole thing's built around that sample, isn't it? Yes. You know, that was a good track as well. I think I'll bring you that track. Sick track. <laughs> 
Right, let's carry on. This is Bessie. Holy crap, that was really great. I'm gonna give it a Hulk Smash because that's absolutely epic. Hulk Smash! Oh, Hulk Smash. Yeah, that's vibes. That's really? A, that's absolutely nothing wrong with that. <laughs> that's just a uh, bag and tag it. Yeah, it sounds like Don't Blink to me. Um, so I'd been hitting him up, send it straight to him. It's really exciting um, some, like, for some of the producers in the Discord where you think, like, you can see in a few years' yeah. time that they're going to be huge. Yeah. And we'll be like, we found him first. Yeah, yeah. Hi. Like, I could see Bessie mopping up the States easy. Like, because this sound is huge out there, you know. It's like, you know, borderline based tech house, isn't it? You know, it's well, US tech house, effectively. So, yeah. Like, the only kind of thing I was thinking, like, just on this little section on the drop, you had the vocal just on mm. the one on the offbeat. They're going, ah. Uh, but like I was thinking, like if you if you kind of had had two of them, if you see what I mean, instead of one of them, so it's, uh, 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 it'll be adding loads of extra little bits of energy just by adding that one little extra sample. 
Yeah. Um, because I do that quite a lot on my vocals. It's kind of like, kind of like, sounds like ill Phil, Jack and House kind of vibes. Just, um, and it just kind of adds that little extra little bit of energy. Um, that's it. That's the only thing that in my head I was just like, oh, that'd be cool if it did that. Bessie's yeah. bangers. Bessie's bangers. Aunt Bessie's bangers. Aunt Bessie's bangers. But yeah, solid, solid vibes. Yeah. Mm. Cool. Right, next. Well done, Bessie. Well done, Bessie. Right, CB Radio. <gasps> oh, wow. So, I've increased the BPM, taken out the kick tail to the let the bass in, dialed it back to the swishy swashy, and your mum is sounding much better than I think. About shout to Skelly for helping me tame the track too. Can't can't make live stream, but we'll listen back. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is the track's called your mum. Okay. I was like, how's he doing what my mum's sounding like? Right, okay, but this track's called that. Okay, good. That makes more sense. stutter So you weren't joking.
Stutter. All right, all right, all right. That was sick, wasn't it? That was wicked, yeah. I just want to hear the rest of the album now. <laughs> like, you can see that in the middle of an album when you just yeah. want to hear the stuff that's before it and after it. Yeah. I like, like someone's comment saying would sound epic at Coachella. Well, <laughs> I was just thinking, like, you could actually imagine, like, someone like Skrillex playing this in the middle of his set. Or Justice. Like, when it, yeah, when it just, when they decide, when Skrillex decides to just drop some wonky electro halfway through his set. Mm. You could definitely imagine this being played by, by someone like him. Yeah. Um, for sure. Yeah, that was wicked. Like, it's definitely got all the ton, all the vibe and all the attitude, this one, hasn't it? I love it. Yeah. I love it. Cool. I love records like that. It's so cool. Yeah. The, the only thing I kind of think is just, like, maybe it just takes a little bit too long to really get into it. Like, because... What is it? It's four minutes forty-five. Yeah, I know, but even still, like <laughs> all of this bit here is kind of it. It doesn't, it doesn't really do anything for this bit, but like it just felt like this was just like one long intro drum section, and then it goes into the into a break. Like so, maybe it just needs just slightly like restructuring, slightly intro. Like maybe have, like have you know thirty seconds of an intro drums, then a little bit of like drums and bass, just just to kind of get it going. And then it goes into a break instead of just intro drums into a long break. They just, yeah. I don't know. I like yeah. Some of the yeah. old air banger stuff used to do that. Like they yeah. used to it used to just be like full on just yeah. The arrangements all fucked up. Yes, but I mean for more modern arrangements, I, yeah. Yeah, I just think it would it would it would I think it would function a little bit better functionality wise, arrangement wise. Yeah. Yeah. I'd, That's it. Like the rest of it, I think is wicked. Like it's I'd super play it. cool. I'd play it. Yeah. It'd be funny as. End of the set, just like... Bah, 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 bah. Yeah. yeah. Just, I can't remember who else it was reminding me of their tracks, but like old, some of the old breakbeat stuff we used to listen to when it started getting like kind of like almost like drum and bass sounding breakbeat with a wonky electro stuff in it. Nice. I made a bit loopy on purpose. Yeah, exactly. I flipping love the loopiness of that. Yeah. I'm down for it. I'm here for it. Where's the rest of the album? Yeah. We can call it 130, it's these 130 Disco. Welcome to Loopland. Welcome to Loopland, 130 Discos and Clowncore. <laughs> I'm here for it. Um, distortion on the bass was thrilling. I, that's a great comment. Mm. Right, Sizzler has got a release coming out on Data Transmission next week called Raver. Yes. Raver. Raver. Raver, which, I, do you know what? It sounds a little bit like this. It's, I've got a minute of it, which I'm going to play you right now as a little preview. It's on been on SoundCloud for about a month, but um, <laughs> um, if you've not listened to it, but it's had fifteen thousand plays on SoundCloud already. This is a minute of Sizzler's Raver. Um, it's coming out next week. <laughs> So that's Raver. That's coming out Ooh. next week um, by Sizzla. And this is his newest demo. It's called 444 AM. What a great time in the morning. Sizzler and Rafsan. Sizzler and Rafsan this time. Nice. How exciting. Did someone say Quavers? I love Quavers, as you know. Um, I didn't say Quavers, but maybe I did say Quavers. I like Chili Doritos more. Chili Doritos. I like Quavers all the time. Um, let's go.
Ooh, let the games roll. Then she look down. I'm in control. Try to catch me with the feelings, but too bad I don't have much of those. Mm. All I'm about is my pesos. You better have that thing by the month. Mm. Love can't have so much conflict, even at 444 in the morning. Let my chair turn around, let it roll, cause I'm in control. Mm. Friday night, on 56, light a match, yeah, we lit. Give it what you work for, but I ain't promising no promises. She took me to the back room, gave me what I wanted, then she looked back, back, back. Ooh, let the games roll, then she looked down, I'm in control. Ooh, let the games roll, then she looked down, I'm in control. Ooh, let the games roll, then she looked down, I'm in control. Ooh, let the games roll, then she looked down, I'm in control. Uh, there we go. That was uh, 4.44am. Sizzler and Rapper Sam. Yeah. Electro, though. Uh, Michael Bibb was playing Electro the other day mm. at Coachella. So it's obviously on its way back. Mm -hmm. So very on point with this. Like, I heard it. When did I hear it? Before Christmas? And I heard some tracks. Yeah, I, remember, I, remember, I remember commenting. I remember, yeah, I remember. Um, I that might have been. No, it wasn't. It was somebody else that was playing it. It was in a mix and I'd I'd been given. Oh, and it, yeah, yeah. And um, there was a load of electro in that that kind of, I think, oh, no, it was Hot Creations were signing it. Yeah. So Hot Creations are putting out electro um, and going back there, um, which is super interesting. I wasn't expecting it for another couple of years, but super interesting. We might mm. be back there already. Um, 20 years since, you know, the Fed, 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 Fed uh, hands up for Detroit, it's 20 years old this, this year. Wow. <laughs> um, do, 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 do. But that's what I'm saying. When you, I was thinking about that bass line. The, uh, it was a bit compared to things like "Put Your Hands Up for Detroit," which is really, really cool bass line. Yeah, it was a bit simple. Oh, the bass line or the or the or the or the synth melody. Not sure either. Well, not the the well, synth the melody. The synth melody. The synth melody. Yeah. 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 I, yeah I, I, compared to, if you're thinking about some of those big tracks from back then, and looking at some of that, if you if you're using one of them as a reference, yeah, like it could it could be. It could do more. Yeah, and I think maybe that's the case of just playing with the MIDI pattern a little bit, just to make it a little bit less just do 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 A hundred percent, a hundred percent. You could be doing something like just do 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 Dull. <laughs> um, no, I just. Do you know what it Generic, is? It's, it's just maybe. got a bit more character to it. Yeah. Like if you think of some a of those, bit more if you think of those some of those tracks, like if you think of um, Dear Ramirez, you know the. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's it called? Um, the remix he did recently. No, no, his the one his massive electro track. Uh, Egg on the thingy. What's it called? Dear Ramirez electro track. The one that would actually blew up. Is it? Yeah, not yeah, yeah. Body rock. Yeah. If you think of tracks like that, body rock and Fed Le Grand and those sort of ma like those massive tracks from that electro electro house period yeah. if you think of those and go and reference those because that's your reference point yeah. and that synth pattern could be can be it's the sound is cool yeah it just needed to do more yeah 
because it, oh, I heard I it and I was like, oh, I've heard this. It's not as and because I'm referencing in my head as against those ones. Other people will do the same. I think it's just the pattern needs to be chopped and changed a little bit, just just with, th- the, with the MIDI programming. I think that would help a little bit. And I think you've nailed just to it. Funk it up a little bit. That's it. Yeah, that's exactly like, what it is. The rest of the track is is really well put together though. Like it sounded like balanced. Like drums were all on point. Bass Vocal's line cool. was nice. Like the bass line was cool. Uh, yeah, I mean, we all know how I feel about fake drops, so I'm not even going to talk about that. Um, <laughs> but yeah, the rest of it was spot on. So I think if you got that, if you got that synth nailed, then you've got an absolute banger, and it works as it does. It's just I, I definitely think there's a little wiggle room to make it like like that extra five percent would definitely easily push it over to maybe a bigger label. Yeah, easily. I think, and and I think with those like obviously Bibby's playing electro, Hot Creations are releasing electro. It's kind of like you you have hit a point where you've got you've latched onto the sound early, and I think mm. you might you might be able to ride that trend early before everyone else, which is super interesting that you've, you've picked up on it and gone that way, which I think is cool. Um, also, how much do you want a CB radio t-shirt from those pictures above? I think they're sick. <laughs> <laughs> they're really cool. Color, color, and color, and color, the t-shirt color and print color. Right, should we carry on? That, otherwise, yeah, really liked it. And well done. Yeah. Um, yeah, solid. Luke. Feel the melody. Oscar. Sprinter. Oh, what time is it? It's half part. We need to get through some of these. Right, let's keep going. I thought we didn't we didn't have very many. I thought we were going to kind of cruise through them, but we seem to have... I must have scrolled and missed a few.
Um, interesting. Where was that vocal from? Somebody tell me. Because someone, oh, Rob Hayes is saying soul to soul. Does Skeleton Keys know? Um, because it was driving me up the wall. <laughs> and it will continue to do that for a while. Yes, S, yeah, soul to souls. Okay, Skeddy is too busy munching his quavers. Oh man, I could eat some quavers right now. Soul to soul, cool. Yeah. I thought it was. Well, I didn't know actually, I didn't have a clue what it was, so thank you. Um, what do you think of the track? Yeah, it's, yeah I, I, um, I thought the piano needed a bit of work. It sounded a little bit kind of like thin. Um, like if you imagine like Jono's pianos, they always sound absolutely huge, don't they? Uh, so they just kind of felt like like as one of the main hooks, it wasn't really driving the track enough. Mm. Um, it felt quite muddy in the low end, like the kick and the bass felt a little bit lost. Mm. Not sure I was over overly keen on the bass line following the same kind of pattern as everything else mm. sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't I'm not sure it was working in this case I was thinking maybe a more of a rolling bass line would work but I might be wrong mm. um, overall yeah it's cool it's just um, like the vocals obviously is that going to be easy to get cleared enjoy the anthem that's what it's from right that's what it's from well done CB oh, thanks for out in the old we're all uh, we're all, most of us are old guys fuck's sake we could just call the server old guys. The old man's club. Oh, 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 old guys and some other cool people. <laughs> the old man's doll club. Oh. <laughs> oh dear. Right. Um. Yeah. Otherwise. So yeah. Yeah. I just think it needs a bit of work in the mix down. Um. The pianos just. They, oh, they deepy, weren't, they, they weren't quite gelling. Um. They didn't sound kind of like big enough. There was like some cool bits in one of the breakdowns where it felt like it was kind of starting to turn more into like old school like proper old school ravery hardcore stuff mm. um so i don't know maybe like tying into that theme maybe a bit more and having some like like some more kind of like ear candies and stuff because it definitely felt like it was missing a little bit of that as well mm. um and yeah just to keep the track rolling on so yeah a little bit of work but yeah cool idea nice right oscar hi guys long time i see glad to be back hope you like this one let me know what you think thanks for the listen Oh, Oscar. Oh, Deefy, welcome in, dude. How are you? Um, let's play Oscar. I like his... This is very cool. Like, Go the track's battle. called oh, 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 oh. Zero, 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 stamp. I That's kind of like old school happy hardcore vibes on that, wasn't it? It was yeah, interesting. Yeah, definitely. I think from the onset there was there was just maybe too many elements. Um, it was like fairly full throttle straight away, <laughs> um, which is fine. I like um, full throttle straight away. But I think there was yeah, like Rob Hayes, too many different ideas going on, too many different melodies and chords. I think it's like about finding the right the right bit of this that you really want to take forward because mm. it also felt like some of the bits were out of key as well so i don't know 
maybe finding the synths that aren't in key with the bass line or the synths that aren't in key with the other synths, etc., etc., and just maybe muting some parts, finding the ones that really work together. But, I mean, because it all just kind of felt like it was thrown in at the beginning, like it, I'm not sure if you've kind of, like, used used any kind of, like... Um, like a reference track to really kind of like sketch the idea out against or, you know, so I think it would definitely be worth whacking a few reference tracks in and just kind of like studying how they've built their track up with the arrangement and stuff like that. Um, and how they bring in the elements in and out because it just kind of felt like it, like you were, it was like a hundred miles an hour straight away, didn't it? Hmm. Um, yeah. It's like going on that ride last Thursday. It was like one eighty mile an hour within 1.8 seconds. Don't get me on that. You're like, Ah! <laughs> As it goes shooting up into the sky. That was scary. Not doing it. Maybe we could do the Christmas stream. I'm not doing it. I'm just, no, I have to watch that girl lose her leg on one of those machines. Me and you could do a Christmas stream on a roller coaster and we'll just not go round and round and round. Nope. And we'll just, we'll just listen to demos on a roller coaster. Shaka refuse. <laughs> we could just go round and round and round listening to demos. Just not doing it. I'm not doing it. Just no. We'll stick with Fireball Ball. Fire Skateball Ball. Gobs, gobstop and Fireball. Gobstop and Fireball, Stateball Ball. That cat's on the roof. Is she? Yeah, I just heard her jump up. Fucking <laughs> idiot cat. Yeah, so CB said that that lead for me was the strong hooky hook for me. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, it's just about finding the like, find that one hook before you then sketch out and, and, do too, and add too many other things. Because mm. the idea was just getting a bit too convoluted for me. Hmm. Ah, oh, Blaze Orange, how you doing? Welcome in. He's got a boat. A, a boat? Yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah, a boat. He's got an actual, actual boat. An actual Where boat. Where is the boat moored? I don't know. It's somewhere in America, I think. Oh, nice. He does boat fishing and thingy. Uh, is that that cat? It is. It's climbing up the shed. Yeah. Amazing. Um, I'd like to own a boat. Nice. <laughs> Get off my land. Oh, USA, Wisconsin. Wisconsin, babes. <laughs> That's from that film. <laughs> Cat just fell off the roof. Um, right, let's do Sprint Art. Let's do this.
That chain had lots of uh, swagger, mm. swaggery swagger. Um, uh, Loudest like the pigeon, right? I like. I the like. Pigeon. There is a pigeon in your track. <laughs> uh, we need to go into your track and remove the pigeon. I need your so code and account number to get into your track to remove the pigeon. A hey, pigeon. <laughs> I'd like. A pigeon? Yes, a pigeon. <laughs> In your track. <laughs> right, carry on. You have to do the actual voice, though. I can't. Good afternoon, madame. Good afternoon, madame. There is a pigeon. A pigeon. In your bank account. In your bank account. And we need to remove the pigeon, pigeon from your track. <laughs> Ayasa. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm not Yes, but you know. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah. So yeah, I quite liked quite a lot of this track. Yeah, had swagger. Yeah, loads of swagger. I. I I don't know if it was me, but like the other, you've obviously used like an old hip hop sample. And I'm not sure you wrote the bass line in the same key as what the sample like track is from. Mm. Like it felt like it just kind of it was, felt a little bit disjointed when it dropped in. Mm. So I don't know if you need to like maybe just try like a different key with the bass line or something. Um, I quite like like the way you've chopped all of the vocals in this main build up. I definitely think you could be adding some more tension by automating that that loop because it just it rolled on for too long without doing anything so maybe just like sending it to an a reverb automation and some filtering and stuff like that um but yeah it just it's something for me wasn't quite hitting pitch wise with the sample and the bass or something or the vocals and i think once you got that nailed the whole track will gel well together a bit more because you could definitely like it definitely had that kind of like shoulder shaking elro swagger for early afternoon Oh, it, um, it, it was all about the. It was all about the swagger. Or even yeah. like he's based on Moxie. Moxie released that. Like, that's yeah. got so much swagger like to it. East like End a, dubs, a, maybe as attitude. well. Attitude. Like but, I love a track like that. Yeah, yeah. I just I'd look at that. Something wasn't hitting for me in the pitch department. So um, I'd look at that. <laughs> Blaze is gonna. Oh, we haven't been sampled for a while. Yeah. <laughs> we haven't been sampled for a while. I don't think they'd be allowed to use that anyway. What? There's a pigeon in my track. Yeah. No, it's because us doing it, so we can do it. Right, okay. Because we just made it up. There's a pigeon in my track. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but like that's good, Spreader. Like if you know, if I could pitch your tracks being played at Elroy, that's that's sick. You know. Yeah. Well. Keep, keep on at it. Yeah. Which other labels? Which other labels are playing? What people are playing there, and what labels are they playing? Like, exactly. If you can see it being played at that event, then there's the whole stack of labels that'll fit into that. Yeah. Like go and look at what Teeny's playing, Gesla, and see what see what music they're playing. Yeah. Uh, or like, yeah. Yeah, like if Florentia or it, like she'd probably play that kind of vibe as well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, early hours. Like, yeah. Yeah. Swaggery. Um, there's a pigeon in your track. Cool. <laughs> there's a cat on the roof. Definitely a cat on the roof. Um, <laughs> I'm losing my. <laughs> Um, right, good. Corserine next up. Um, uh, and Blaze. Blaze has got two votes. Two vote Blaze. He's like, two vote Blaze. He's, two votes Blaze. He's the Commodore. Commodore Blaze. Yeah, we can call him Commodore Blaze. Commodore. I don't know. No, actually, like surely he'd be Admiral, and then when he gets three votes, he can be Commodore. Captain Blaze. I think Commodore's actually in charge of lots of admirals. So what he needs to do is give me a boat, and then he can be Commodore, and I'll be Admiral. <laughs> Commodore Blaze. Yes, sir, Commodore. We can we can salute Commodores as well. Yeah. Wow, Commodore Blaze in the house. 
I've got a free download for Commodore Blaze out today, I think, later today. Um, right, let's do this. Corserine. That was super cool, wasn't it? Hulk, Hulky smashy. Hulky smashy. Um, Hulk. Yeah, really, really cool new disco. Smash! Bessie's in the house. Yeah, your track was sick, Bessie. I really like that. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah I've got nothing to say. I think it's great. Yeah, like like Skelly said, cool pop vibes. Kind of new disco. New disco pop. A bit longer than before as well. Yeah. I like it. Still got some of those cool synth wave elements to it as well that's kind of synonymous with Quartering. Mm. It's music. Um... Yeah, Nick sounds I'd... very different on YouTube. Oh, interesting. Yeah, but it is coming through Discord, through SoundCloud, through Discord, through Ecamm, through YouTube. Mm. It probably couldn't go through more money platforms. No. If we tried. The bass was very strong over it. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I wouldn't... Like, it was going through about four programs before it even gets to... Yeah, before it gets to you. Before it even gets to you. Yeah. So, obviously, we're playing it through... We're playing it from SoundCloud through Discord... Into Ecamm, into YouTube. Yeah. Um, yeah. Down, down the really long cable from the from the shed to the house. 40 metres of cable. At the bottom of the garden. Between the shed and the beans. There's a little bunch of little people. They're called the Sheddington G's. The Sheddington G's. <laughs> right, she's you playing the more disco?
Okay, that is a great whip. Yes. Um, so it's a whip collab with the legend Amanda Wilson. Yes, I have permission to use her name and likeness. Disclaimer, I wrote 75% of the lyrics, so don't come at me if she doesn't sound her best. It's the producer's fault. Okay. Okay, I wasn't going to anyway. Um, great. That's got great potential for a track. Yeah. yeah, yeah like, yeah, it's yeah. a great start to track. When the vocal kicks in, I was like, whoa, this is cool. Yeah. Um, I even like the words, like the kind of yeah, vibe. Yeah, like, I don't think there's anything too wrong with it. Obviously, um, it's a whip. Obviously, it's not finished. Yeah, like, I mean, the the main thing, like, those vocals, like, the kind of, like, the backing vocals in that first section mm. felt too quiet. I thought the, 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 the low version of it was a bit too loud. The strings were a bit too loud in that section were overpowering the vocal. Mm. And then you had this, like, big riser, like, this uh, white noise riser. That felt really, 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 really too loud. Um, yeah. To the extent that I pulled my headphones off a little bit. Um but that's obviously it's a whip, so it's like gain staging is probably all to be done, etc. So yeah, I I just think just get this finished and send it back for us to have another listen because I'd like to hear it when it's like a bit more polished. Berg was heard the vocal before. <laughs> 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 probably on a stream or you he sent it to you. Probably he's probably doing the remix. Um, right, uh, Rob Hayes. And then we oh look, we're through the whites. But we're not going to get into any whites today. Oh, I might go through and listen to the whites after, yeah. Because there's a load of whites in there I wanted to listen to. I might, I might, I'm gonna, I've got to watch. I'm gonna watch a webinar on webinars at the moment at three o'clock. Okay. Um, which it's a two-hour thing, so I want to watch that. Um, also, I'm setting up. A, there's gonna be a new remix competition launch today. I'm gonna need to when I'm watching my webinar on webinars. I'm gonna sit and set it all up for the remix competition for Unlearn. It's some great prizes. Um, studio time with uh, Doc Brown. Studio part time with Casamilia. Um, Unlearned goodies, releases on the label. Yeah, really, really cool. Um, so I'll be announcing that in the Discord, socials, email, afterwards. Um, let's. And, but then anyone that's got a white, I might just sit and go and make some, just go, and go back to. Because there's a few like from the last couple of streams we've not got to, but I'd like to just see what they're like. Mm-hmm. Just from a label POV as well. Yeah? Yep. Um, okay, this is Rob Hayes. Let's do this. Because I want to get out of here for this webinar.
That was cool. Really fun. Disco yeah. housey. Yeah, solid. Really, really. I really liked it. Yeah. I mean, some yeah. some comments in the chat. Were those some string runs in there? They could come up a bit. Uh, nice, cool house to chill outside. Um, Stefan got goodbye. Uh, I personally bring up the the music mid nice. to the disco samples a lot. Cool. A full vocal would be better on this. Cool. Yeah, uh, I, yeah. The drums were solid. Um, the musicality was solid. I'd definitely be bringing up some of the music elements. Definitely the strings. They felt a little bit like distant. Mm. Um, I thought in the in the breakdowns, maybe having like one of those kind of elongated uh, strings just to add a little bit of tension would work. Like the little e kind of thing. Mm. Um, yeah, I agree with the mids on the the musicality. It just yet. Yeah, I think this is just kind of like it's ninety percent there. It just needs like a little bit of gain staging and a little bit of balancing. Mm. Like, but like the the kick and uh, the kick and the bass and the drums. I think were absolutely like like ten out of ten really. So it's just getting about all those other little elements like because the vocal was sitting quite nice as well. So it's just getting all those other little bits just to kind of like gel round it. Vocal sounded nice, didn't it? Yeah, yeah. I you know, it's daiquiri music once again though, isn't it? Like, I don't know, <laughs> I'd quite, uh, yeah, I'd be more than happy to be stood next to a pool, like pool party or something, having a daiquiri to this. So. Yeah, oh, I mean, yeah. It's, it's, for me, it's disco house. It's mid mid set walloper. Yeah, let's go. It's a bit too soulful, chill. I think, but Little, for me, let's just go. Like, but yeah, hands solid, in the air. Solid, solid job. Like Skelly says, Rob's Rob's drums are always on point. Agreed. Um, and they were sounding super solid. Bassline was tasty. It um, needs one of these though, doesn't it? It needs a, it needs a. <laughs> Right in the middle. It's always a pool and a cocktail for like yeah, exactly. For this kind of music anyway. Yeah. I'd play it mid set Wallopa. Let's go. I'd quite happily drink a Stella to it though. <laughs> <laughs> you see, some no more disco. He says he it needs one of these. Look, it needs a mm. one of those. Right in the middle. Yeah. Just as a breakdown. Should we get out of here so I can go and watch my webinar on webinars? Yeah. Webinar on how to make webinars. Get cat hair out of my eye. Right, gang. Uh, thank you all for being here. I'm going to go and reply. Anyone that submitted a demo that I've not listened to over the last two days, I'm going to go and listen to the loads of them this afternoon after I've watched my webinar on webinars and tomorrow morning, and I'll, I'll comment under them, reply to them and comment on. Um, any comments, I think. Cool. Um, thank you all for being here. No demos next week because I'm going to be at in Ibiza. Anyone that's going to IMS, jump into the IMS section of now of the Discord in the in the conferences section and say hi. Um, and let's have a meet up, Discord meet, meet up next week if you're going to IMS. Um, it'd be great to hang out with some more disc, some more Discord members, um, course members. If you're going depot, let's hang out. I'll chat, put a chat in our normal chat though. Um, <laughs> Some of those were letters. And the dove from above goes wah wah wah, and that's it. Okay. And I'll we'll see you. I'll see you in a week. Have a great week. And then when we come back in a week, it's three years of streaming. Oh. Shedhead day on the first of May. Nice. Which I'm not sure what we're going to do yet, but we'll work it out. We'll do something in Discord. Yeah. We'll do like an extended <laughs> shit in Discord all day. What day is it? First of May, Wednesday. Oh, is it Wednesday? Right, yeah, okay. we're definitely going to stream on all platforms as well, I think. Cool. Be a multi mad stream for three years of streaming. Sick. Let's do it. Right. Big up. Thank you everyone for being here. I'll see you on Discord. Cheerio. Have a laugh. Blah, 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 blah. Words. Words.